So one of the questions I've had recently is, can you use hand tracking on the Oculus Quest 2 to perform card tricks? Kind of. Let's show you how. I have the wrapper of something. I'm not sure what it is. It's plastic. And I'm going to cut some card-shaped items out of it. Okay, so now I'm going to try some stuff here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is use the hand controllers to um, pull up the main menu so I can start recording this. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, so now I've got some recording going on here. And these are currently the, the controller hands that you see in front of you. And what I want to do right now is switch to regular hands. So I'm just going to take the controllers and set them down on the ground next to me. You can set them on your desk or wherever you want, but they have to go stationary. Once they do that, then you have full hand controls. So I can't see the table in front of me, but I can feel these plastic cards here. And so what I'm going to do is pick them up and, uh, and hold them like this. And you'll see the hands themselves have a little bit of constant movement in the fingers, and that's uh, from the estimation of the finger locations. Um, and also, your rig might be different, so depending on the character rig that you put this into, the, the fingers might end up actually looking better than this, like that pinky seems to stick down to the far bottom a little bit. And that's actually the rig that I'm using in this particular case. Uh, so here we're holding some cards in front of me, and I'm gonna set one down. Set a couple of them down, set three down, uh, and then I'm going to pick one up. The next one up. Where'd it go? There it is. Pick that one up. This is me holding my cards and showing them. Uh oh. All right. So we lost uh, hand, hand tracking. As you can see here, the reason is because my arm is actually out straight. And when it does that, the hand estimation goes completely nuts and tries to figure out where the hand is because this camera on the headset can't see straight down my arm to tell where the arm is. So you have to keep that in mind when you're doing this. And I might have to add something to Glycon to compensate for that for some point, at some point. So here we are holding three cards. Um, we, can also, we can also shuffle. Shuffling almost works, at least uh, in the headset. These plastic cards don't, don't really shuffle. I don't think I've ever shuffled three cards before anyway. Okay, but there's one, there's two, there's three. So that's what it would look like if you tried to shuffle cards. You could probably smooth it out in a 3D program afterwards. You could probably do a few takes and get some pretty decent uh, card shuffling in there. But I want to show you that's what it currently looks like. And if you're going to do it, um, let me know. Let me know what you come up with. I'm curious too. I actually have a poker game that I need to finish at some point. Uh, that I partially designed Glycon just for that. Um, and hand the hand stuff was a, a really tricky to get without something like Glycon. Good luck, and I will see you guys later. Glycon3D.com is where to go.